Peace. The science, everybody. It's Lord Supreme. The question of today is what are you doing to be successful in all your undertakings? What steps are you taking? What methods are you using? What plans are you laying out? And what way are you executing your determined idea to be successful in all your undertakings? You feel what I'm saying? Everybody already know the question. But the answer is the most important of what you're gonna do today to be successful in all the undertakings. Today's wisdom born, so that means you have to get your work completed and get things done within a matter of time in order for you to strive for and to achieve that inner state of peace. And this is how you manifest and bring forth into existence yourself being complete within all things because you are no longer negotiating you're no longer putting off but you're only taking care of business and you're handling your responsibilities and your duties as a man or as a woman so the question of the day is what are you doing to be successful in all of your undertakings in all of your undertakings not just some you feel what i'm saying the question of the matter is the methods the plans the strategy that you use to be successful is going to help you determine and help you understand whether or not your foundation was laid correctly and that's just showing and proving in general that either your foundation is not right and exact or you have to go back to the drawing board and see where you went wrong at T. Yacoub was successful in all his undertaking because he didn't give no options. He just told you if you ain't do it, that's off with your head. So that's the same way you have to be with yourself. You can't give yourself options. You have to do what's necessary in order for you to be successful in the things you need to be successful in. If that's maintaining food, clothing, and shelter, you can't miss a day without going out there pounding the pavement and looking for work from 9 to 5. It's a job looking for a job. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just using that analogy because of the simple fact that there's some people that put things off to the side. Like, yeah, I'll do it then. I'll do it later. But then when they come to find out when there's no more time and time ran out, what you going to do then? This is why you don't give yourself options to negotiate anything. You do what's necessary to be able to strive for peace. That's one of the 12 Jews of life. That's what's necessary. That's something that you need in order for you to constantly keep growing and developing and being the person that you are. It's peace, mentally as well as physically, not the absence of all confusion. And confusion is disorder. Disorder means there's no principles, no values that are in stone. Or there's nothing that's in order. There's nothing that's prioritized. There's nothing that's being done. There's nothing that's being taken care of the right way because all of the steps are out of whack. So this is just the same thing as being successful in your undertaking, you have to know the proper foundation that you've laid in order for you to properly execute and use sound judgment in order for you to do what you need to do to be complete what you need to complete in order for you to be complete within yourself to achieve that peace and not to be out of order but to be in order and harmony with all things and all things being in order and harmony with you that's all I have to say peace